Hi everyone and welcome back to a new part on the how to make a pet simulator x star game series. In this video, we're going to be working on equipping the pets from the pet inventory. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, all of the scripts, asset pack, maps are included. So they are all available on my Patreon, it is in the $10 tier, the link will be in the description. With that being said, let's start. All right, so we're going to start with by entering our pet inventory uh, module. And what we're going to do is whenever we click the clone template, so clone template dot mouse button dot mouse button, one click, clone connect function. And what we're going to do is we're going to, well, create a function up here, local function on, on template click, maybe on, okay, on template click. And that's going to take the template, template instance. And what I'm going to do right here is do on template click. And that's going to take the clone template dot name. Or actually the clone template entirely. And what we're going to do is go to server, to, to replicator storage, sorry. And we're going to go to remotes. And I'm going to add a remote function, not a remote event, a remote function. And we'll rename it to equip pet. And right here, we'll call that remote function. So, uh, remote dot equip pet con invoke server, and that's going to take the template, the template instance, sorry, dot name, because template is the actual well, template, and this is the actual. Okay, that that's how to explain. Well, I think it makes sense because template is an actual variable here. It's a reference to. It's a reference to the template frame that we have. This is the actual pet. Okay, so when we click it. We're going to do local result is equal to remote dot equip pet con invoke server and that's going to take the template instance dot name and what i'm going to do next is go to server script service and enter my main server script double click it scroll all the way down and right here what i'm going to do is replicate the storage so replicate the storage dot remote dot uh equip pet dot on server invoke uh is equal to function and that's going to take the player and the pet name now i'm going to get the player's pet folder so local player pet folder is equal to and workspace dot pet common find first child player dot name and then we're going to check if we found that player pet folder so if player pet folder if player pet folder then so if it is not equal to nothing or nil then what we're going to do is well check the amount of pets that the player has equipped so the amount of pets that the player has equipped will be how many pets are inside that folder so to get how many pets are inside that folder we're going to do hashtag uh, player pet folder uh, hashtag okay so we're going to check if hashtag if hashtag player pet folder colon get children um, what, is, what even is this okay get children is greater or is equal equal to one then a comment okay so we have a pet equipped else then uh, well we don't have pet equipped so we don't have a pet equipped okay so uh i'm gonna do it else if hashtag player pet folder can get children is equal equal to zero then we don't have any pets equipped so then okay so now right here i'm going to check if the pet okay so we firstly need to double check right here we're going to check if the player actually has that pet or if they're just exploiting so uh we have a pets folder inside oh we don't ow okay that's weird we don't have that okay so i thought inside of the player data we're going to add a folder and we're going to call it pets okay so right here what i'm going to do is check if player dot pets uh, dot pets can find first child pet name pet name then so if we do find that pet name then okay so now we, we are basically double checking if the player actually has the pet from the server or if they are just exploiting and if they do have one equipped then we're going to check if the current one that's equipped so if um if uh okay so we're gonna get the first child on the on the pets folder so i'm going to do that by doing local pet is equal to 
or local current pet is equal to uh, player pet folder. Player pet folder. Call find first child of class. Find first child of class. And model. So model. And then we're going to check if current pet then. And then we're going to check if current pet is equal if current pet dot name is equal equal to pet name. So if it is equal to the pet name, then we will unequip. So we're going to unequip that pet. Else. Okay, else. Then I'm going to add another comment. So if this is kind of confusing. So if the currently equipped pet is equal, equal to the pet that they just clicked, then we're going to unequip it. If it's not, then well, we will unequip the old pet and equip the new one okay so though if it is equal equal to zero then well we just gotta well equip the new pet so we don't have a pet equipped i'm going to add another comment and i'm going to, to put in equip the new pet okay so to unequip the pet if you do remember that we added a there is a pet module right here and i do think we have it required so local pet module okay we do so when we when we want to unequip it what i'm going to do is pet module dot unequip pet and as you can see that text the player so player and the pet name which is the pet name okay so the next thing we need to do is pet module dot unequip pet a uh, player comma pet name or actually comma current pet dot name wait that is that how you do it unequip pet pet name okay that makes that makes that makes sense uh then we'll pet module dot equip pet but this time we will oh also in here we're gonna do current pet dot name sorry so when we equip the pet we're gonna get the player we're going to send the player and the pet name. So, the next thing I'm going to do is, well, return uh, equipped. Okay, equipped. Else, uh, in here we're going to return unequipped. So, return unequipped. And right here, we're going to re do module.equip module pet. And we're going to do the same thing right here. And we're going to return equipped again actually now that that i think about it we can just do return false and right here we're going to return true and right here we're going to return false actually right here we're going to return true okay so i hope that that uh this code makes any sense and now we're going to go back here and i'm going to go here and check if the result actually i'm just going to print the result all right all right so the next thing i'm going to do is go to the main okay server x enter the server x folder and whenever we do hatch the pet okay what i'll do is do local val is equal to instance dot new string value and val dot name is equal to and i'm just going to put in uh chosen pet dot name oh wait is that even exata dot pets wait what's this what is chosen pet what does it return so chosen pets is equal to v we're returning looking through this okay i'm going to uh chosen pet dot pet name maybe dot pet name and val dot parent is equal to player dot pets now i'm going to play the game and see if this works so i'm just going to go to players uh i'm going to make sure that i'm recording okay so i am recording that's a relief uh now i'm going to go here inside of my pets we don't have any pets now but if i hatch this as you can see now we have a fox and we should hatch a fox okay so we did hatch, hatch a fox now what i'm going to do is Okay, so I'm going to go to Blair's, Blair's UI, 
main SS frames, uh, frames, uh, inventory, make that visible. And I'm going to click the fox and hopefully we'll equip the, and yes, we equip the fox. I'm going to click it again. We should unequip the fox. And if I hatch another one, it should also work. All right, another fox. I want to get some, something else. A cat. Okay, good. I'm going to make this visible again. I'm going to click the cat. Okay. Unclick the cat. Click the cat again. Equipped. I'm going to click the fox. Should unequip the cat and click the fox. If I All right, so next thing we're going to do is basically... Okay, let's see. So we have a viewport, pet inventory. We're going to enter back our pet inventory. And what I'm going to do is check if the result is equal to, equal to false, then template, template. Dot. Okay, let's, I'm just going to check the way the template is made. So inventory, main frame, scrolling frame, and okay. Going to get twin service. We already did. So twin service, twin service, call and create template instance. And I'm going to do comma twin info dot new dot new maybe 0 0.5 and uh, curly brackets background color three is equal to color three dot from RGB and I'm just going to give it a nice green color. So maybe something like this will be good. Okay, can't play else. I'm gonna copy the same I'm gonna copy this, paste it here, and we're gonna copy the actual color, the default color, and we're gonna paste it there. And now if you play the game, that should look a bit better. We should know which pets we have equipped and which ones we don't. So just how to pet this. Hatch the egg. Okay, good. And uh, I'm going to go to my uh player GY um inventory, so you are main SS frames. Um, inventory, make it visible. Go with the dog. Nothing happens. Great. Great. Okay, so if it is for. Oh! Change this to true, and everything should work just fine. Okay, so I'm going to do this again. Blur GY main SS frames. It's kind of boring. Uh, inventory visible, hatch this, make it true. Okay, we got a cat, click it again, just to get more pets. We got another cat. I wanna get another pet. Okay, a dog, good, great. I'm going to click it, nothing happens again. Hmm. Uh, network ownership API cannot. What even is this? It might be set to anchored parts. Hmm. Oh, I think I think I know why. Make sure that all of your pets are not not anchored. So the cat. I'll make sure that none of these are anchored. So nothing is anchored. Uh, the fox. Again, nothing should be anchored. The dog, I think this is where the problem is. Yep. Not all of them are unanchored. Everything should work fine now. So I'm going to test the game and I'll be back. Alright, so I just hatched some pets. I'm going to make this visible and I'm going to click the cat. And as you can see, it did turn green. That's kind of satisfying. And I did equip it. If I click it again, it turns blue. Green, click this. Oh, great. Now both of them are green. Now that's a bug we might want to fix. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back here. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Pet inventory. And what I'm going to do is whenever we turn one green, we'll turn all of the other ones blue. So for underscore, comma, template, comma, or comma, V in pairs, uh, scrolling frame, scrolling frame can get children do if the column is a is a um uh, button so 
uh, button gy button or actually just just put in text button then if it is then uh just do this just turn it blue copy this line of code paste it there then i want to turn that one green and hopefully that will work Okay, I'm going to test this again and I'll be back. Alright, so I got some pets. I'm going to click this, make this visible. Okay, so that does turn green. Works. Click this. And it did it. Okay, it did it again. Why? Okay, so I found the problem. Just go here and change template instance to V. And then it should work. Alright, so I got some pets. Now I'm going to make this visible. Equip the dog. Equip this. And now everything works just fine. As you can see, there goes the dog, this, and if I click the cat, okay. So this does have a bug. If you click on something that is the same pet, then it doesn't work. Okay, so I'm going to be fixing this in the next tutorial. But what we're, what we're going to be focusing on right now is, okay, so stop the game, go here. And what I'm going to do is fix the coin dropping, because if I go ahead and play the game right now, as you can see, I'm just going to choose a random pet. The coin dropping isn't really the best thing. Uh, yeah, this looks kind of bad. Now I'm just going to, to fix this. It's very simple, actually. Just enter the... Just enter the currency dropper. And right here, we're going to do origin C frame plus, ve plus vector 3. Oh, what is this again? Vector 3 dot new and 0, 0,3, 0. And we change 50 to 50. And now that should look a lot better. So just play the game. Get this. Destroy it. And as you can see, that looks a lot better. And now they spawn in in a in the same place okay so that's going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you all in the next video bye